You know Tweedledee. You definitely know Tweedledum. But do you know their cousin? The balm? The hairspray? The pomade? You know, let me tell you a secret. Here on the Stuff and Fragrance Pet Channel, we never lie. We always show what's truly going on in the community of fragrance. These fragrances here are known to man as being the um, attention getters, the ones that women love, uh, men love, you know. Strong cap, weighted cap. You could use them as dice if you wanted to. You know? No, I'm, I'm very, you know, snake eyes. Each side is only two, though. So you're going to get four every single time, unless the, that side lands up. This is Armoff's Club de Nuit, fragrance worn by mm, married men on their marriage day. You know, Aventus, best fragrance, whatever. This is the this is the knockoff, the clone. And it's pretty good. It's it's nothing. You know, actually they're reformulations and they're this one I have, which has the silver cap compared to the black cap, is better than the black cap. The black cap smells way more synthetic. And shouts out to Kangaroo 80 though for sending me the 200 mil. This silver cap is way better. It's it's not as sweet. It's a little more tangy, a little more wild. Sprayers are horrible. But we're not talking about Tweedledee and Tweedledum today. We're talking about the baby cousin um, birthed as were the Urukai um, in Lord of the Rings. And the orc who gets his head cut off you know this is the guy this is the one so let's take a look and take a gander at the pomade um, which is club de nuit intense man pomade looks like a hockey puck shout out to toy story and shout out to bulgari black um, actually, let me go get that fragrance. That fragrance is a good one. Check that out. It's green. Green as heck. Um, now, this pomade is, um, let me go get a bowl of Burberry Black. Just a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> Bulgari Black. And that's what this thing reminds me of. It's the same. I think they copied the same exact. No, actually, it's a little bit, little bit smaller, but um, in diameter. And, um, but it does have the same sort of, you know, script going around, I guess. Um, this is a very classy fragrance, let me tell you what. But we're not talking about this. We're talking a diff about a different hockey puck. We're talking about the green goo hockey puck. Um, might be like the goo that comes out of monsters as you kill them, or, or ghosts, like the Ghostbusters. Now, you can tell that I've already mixed in here and tried it. You know, this pomade, my hair is very thin and delicate and should be treated with not so much pomade, but let's go ahead and try it. 
just the middle of the night. We're going to see if it works. And if it smells like our moth, Club de Nuit Intense Mail. No. This smells more like the black version. It smells more like the Lemon Pledge. Shout out to Sancho. Lemon Pledge mixed with honey. You know, very synthetic and sweet and cloying. And not fresh, as uh, at least not as fresh as the silver cap. It reminds me of that lemon pledge. But as you can tell, it makes your hair do wonders. <laughs> you know? If you're going to the um, office, you might not want to wear this. Halloween is already over, but... You know, you could have some fun with this for Halloween. Um, it says, style and texturize your hair with a strong yet moldable hold. Allows you to switch up your style, match your mood throughout the day. So, my mood right now is very tired. And uh, definitely not matching my mood. If I was electrocuted, maybe. Um... This I this pomade I would give a out of ten. I would have to give this about a six point two out of ten. In terms of texturizing your hair and making it stand up or stick out, you know, if you want to stand out or stick out, um, very good, very good indeed. I love the color. The one thing that I do not gravitate to is the smell. And that's the number one reason for getting it, you know. This is giving me the lemon pledge, the fakester lemon, a little bit of lemon heads. Although lemon heads were one of my favorite in first grade, you know. Even lemon heads are, are probably more of a natural lemon flavor because... In first grade, we would get stars for doing good deeds or, you know, doing our homework. And I always would like to get a bunch of stars. And at the end of the week, we would be able to um, turn in those stars in exchange for candies. And one of the candies that my teacher, Mr. Peters, had on deck was the lemon heads. And I remember always taking my lemon heads because they were very sweet but at the same time when you got to the inside of very sour. And it had a fakester lemon flavor, but it also was tangy enough to give me that bite. The bite that this lacks. The bite that the silver cap does have and the black cap does not. And now I've gotten pomade all over everything. Au revoir. Last thing, final notes are, this is 100 grams, this is 3.5 ounce, ounce. I don't know how much it costs. Um, yeah. Anyways, look out for some new upcoming videos from Steph and Fragrance. Um, stick around. I'll see you next time. Peace.